here we are guys final challenge to defeat the witch and also the final video it's been a long ride 50 some odd videos but here we are just need to open the final door and take the fight to Gruntilda doing pretty good progress been 100%ing it with a acceptable amount of it's up the piece goes up with an acceptable amount of strife this might not okay work with me here I should probably focus on the puzzle that would be a smart thing probably I'm just not really sure right now I mean I knew I would eventually get this far but it seems like it's been quite a long ride seems a lot longer than I remembered. It's you know, this goes on like uh, kind of the fact that most of the videos from Banjo Kazooie average out at like 15-ish, and I've been trying to average out at 15-ish, but it's been closer to 20-ish. And oh, one more oh, over. It's been closer to 20-ish minutes. I'd have to say this game is definitely like twice as big as the original. Not exactly a bad thing. All right, almost done. And you go in this one. Ah, but here it all comes to a close. At least until nuts and bolts, but I probably won't get into that. I just... I'm not that I don't like the playstyle, I really enjoy the playstyle. It's just... Not very... It doesn't lend itself well to Let's Plays, in my opinion. There are a few games like that, like... I have Door, Skyward Sword. I don't think it'd be a very good game to let's play. At least not unless you were extremely good at doing interesting commentary, just because there's so much where the game drags on and does nothing. I swear, I think it took me like an hour and a half, maybe two hours before I got to the first dungeon. That's just workering of time. It's, hey, get the sword, buy a shield, here's the first dungeon, go. Like, uh, Wind Waker took a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. Majora's Mask... Majora's Mask had a lot of build-up for everything, but it did stuff a lot very differently, so I'm not going to say anything bad about that. You have proved yourself most worthy by opening all the doors. A super special challenge now awaits, one that has no award, but yet is the greatest test of all. Press B if you wish to try it. Well... Nah. I got bonus videos planned. I'll show it off then. Especially since I don't remember what it is off the top of my head. But yeah, I got like three, maybe four bonus videos planned after this is all done. So you guys will have to stick around to watch those. Really hate that I apparently have allergies in the spring. It's really annoying. But enough about that. We're here to beat up a bony old witch who's evil and... Admittedly, in an awesome way, but she's still evil. Very much so. Alright, let's just go into Cauldron Keep. With good music. I could pretty much say that about any level, though. Except Cloud Cuckoo Land. I don't like Cloud Cuckoo Land or anything about it. And up to the top of the tower. Here it is, guys. Gruntilda awaits. Oh, looks like there's no one here. We should go home now. Wow, it's one heck of a view from up here. Sure is, but doesn't it seem strange that Gruntilda isn't up here to meet us? Obviously chickened out. I've enjoyed our adventure, but let's get back to the card game. You want to go back to... Well, of course, you were cheating everyone out of house and home, Kazooie. Why wouldn't you want to go back to that card game? Well, I think they failed a spot check. I mean, really? I, did you guys even look around? You really failed a spot check. Er... Yeah. 
Hag one. Sure, it wasn't that big before. Um, actually, yeah, because it kind of was. How could you guys have missed it? Simple. You failed your spot check. That's the only explanation for this. Finally, after two years, revenge time! We'll see, a little bird. We'll see. Come on, Grunty, start rhyming. Where's the laser button? Darn it! Someone passed the manual for this thing! Ah, yes, here we go. Alright. I don't remember a lot about this boss fight. Admittedly, I should have practiced. What I do remember is that there are several phases. Starting off with, um, those lasers, and she continues to play quiz questions. I still got quite a few question cards up my sleeve. Answer correctly, and maybe I'll go a little easier, easier on you. What was the national sport in, um, that would be kickball. Threat, that's correct. I'll only use my slower attack now. Yeah, she's kind of, um, oh yay, she uses spells now. She's kind of, oh. Um. Let's go with explosive. She has, like, a full 99 health. Or 999, something like that. Or 100. Not 999, that'd be terrible. 1-0 no with those pesky bear. More lasers are required. But yeah, by answering the quiz questions correctly, how do I switch them all on? This one? Lovely. Here we go again. Oh, crap. But yeah, by answering the quiz questions correctly, this boss fight is a little easier. And it just goes more into Gruntilda's character. She is both cocky enough and... What's the name of the first game I start in? Banjo-Kazooie. Grunty Kong 64. And now we just gotta aim up. Keep strafing. And just keep hitting her. Yo, yay, yeah, it looks like every 10 health points, she goes into something new. Speaking of something new, what's she doing now? Plenty more tricks left in this beauty. Activate the mortar can. Well then. Oh crap. Run! Um, looks like we just need to outdistance this one. Let's grab these two life because I've already lost them. Doesn't look like it tracks very well, so maybe we should just outpace the mortar. That was completely accidental. I guess I answered it correctly. One. Miss. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh crap. Oh man, I didn't get the full damage round in. Which means she gets to go back to using the more. Oh, I see. The shell splits apart and then there's things tracking. Kind of. Motor isn't terrible to dodge. Which Jinjo family had the most members? The Black Jinjo family, because it took me an eternity to find the last one. And then over there in her head, that triggers phase, I don't know, double mortar. So this is still phase two. It's phase 2.5. Double bombs away. At least they give um, a health refill every 10 lot, or every 10 hit points for Grunty. Ow. Oh man, this isn't too terrible. Alright, there you are again, Grunty. What are the arch enemies of the Jinjos? The Minjos. And now we get to use up and aim more explosives. The aiming in this is kind of not good. Okay, there we go. And that's that phase taken care of. I believe there are five phases total. An easier one and a harder version of each, and they happen every... Well, it switches things from... Do the power that V10 blast? Crank the drill up. 
Let's go. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's totally not be anywhere near the front of that banjo. But they switch over like every 10 hit points. Okay then. I already know how this works. I just don't remember how we get the opening. We have to shoot clockwork zooey eggs into the back. But I don't remember what our opening is. Um, is the drill gonna stop, or do I have to... Which Jinjo family has five members? Red? Nope, it is not. Wrong answer, you'll be facing my faster attack now. And I gotta start saving, uh, my grenade eggs. Well, I was pretty sure we actually have to crawl in the back there. What's wrong with this machine? It's going straight back to the guard, to the garage after this. Come on. And now we just need to, um, ah, gearbox must be faulty. Yeah, so we can't actually shoot the clockwork kazooie eggs in yet, but that's one thing we're supposed to do, at least we, I thought you we were. At any rate, it's important to stay near the back of the machine so that, um, you don't die. Because dying's bad. I swear, this fight's kind of easier than the one in Banjo-Kazooie if only you don't get the instant death fall off the side bullshit. And then crawl in the back of the Hag one. Alright, this is the harder version. Jump over you and destroy the battery. Now we get to do that again. And destroy the other battery. And if we can destroy both, I think that'll um hurt an explosion. What's that burning smell? I don't know why I gave her a vaguely British accent or why I'm even... Oh, crap. Ow. Okay, let's avoid the drill at all costs. I don't know why I'm really bothering to even give her an accent at this point anyway. I suppose we haven't really heard her talk much throughout the game at all. Oh crap, no breathing fire. Breathing fire is bad right now, Kazooie. So let's stay on the inside as much as possible, despite the fact those tracks should really hurt us. Multiplayer quit. Uh. Was... I didn't know. Okay then. Now I just need to switch back over to Clockwork Kazooie's. And hit that last battery. Whew, got inside in time. Alright, I, I, I'm gonna be really annoyed if I'm saying this fight isn't that bad and then I end up dying. Because that'll just be insulting. Granted, if that happens, I'll probably just figure out a way to make it funny. Oh no, we're losing power now. No, don't stop, Mr. Drill. My lovely lasers! Can someone phone for a tow truck? Right, that's it. I've had enough. We fight to the death. Alright, let's get, um... Let's stick with fire for now. Because I can just kind of rapid fire them and A hit for double. Yay! We got any more tricks left? Ah yes, the minions. There he goes. Go get them, doofus. Oh shit. Is there any more life out here? I don't think there is. Well, that was oddly convenient. Alright then. Ah, of course. Why didn't I think of this earlier? Release the toxic gas. Mmm, cyanide and mustard gas flavor. My favorite. And from here on out, it is just a timed race to defeat Gruntilda before the gas kills you all. 
Okay, numbskulls, time for the biggest, baddest spell I can muster. Prepare to join your bottle buddy bottles. You'll wish you'd never taken on the mighty Gruntoto Winky Bunyan. Winky Bunyan, is that really your last name? Uh, um, no, of course not. But don't you go telling anyone or I'll sue you. Whatever you say, Winky. Now die! Oh, crap. And final hit. Ugh. Oh no. The spell! I've dropped it! Quick! Somebody get rid of it before it... Boom. Five camera angles. For one explosion. Oh, we showed old Winky Bunyan again, eh, Banjo? Yep, we certainly did. Why the fuck am I giving these guys horrible accents, especially at the end? I should have given them to him at the beginning so I could be ashamed all the way through the project. And here's the celebration party. And everyone's asleep. Well, doesn't look like I missed much. Yeah, I I'll agree there, Banjo. See, well, er, it's finished, I'm afraid. That Klungo sure was hungry. He's eaten everything in the house. How many pizzas is that? Six pizzas? Humbo wanted to boogie. Big heap bummer. <laughs> yeah, I'll agree with that. Oh, really? You're gonna be yelling at us. You should have dealt with the bony crone quicker. I would have liked to see you do it, Jam Jars. Good point there, Kazooie. And then Bumbo starts laughing. Bumbo turns stupid shaman into a frog. You know, she could probably do that. Summon gold statue to kick ugly butt. Yeah, he could do that as well. You can go outside if you want to argue. Oh, so what's this better idea, Kazooie? Does anyone fancy a kick around? Kick around. I don't recognize the name. I know what they're about to do, and it's hilarious, but I don't recognize the name kick around. Alright. I love this part. Yeah, they're just basically kicking around Grunty's head. It's awesome. I know this game as um, like Hacky Sack, though you're not allowed to use your hands or wings in that much or that matter, but yeah, they're just kicking around Gruntilda's head. Or, so it's a lot it's just so amusing. And this is just the ending of it now. Them just kicking around Gruntilda's head. I have nothing else I can really say on this. Yeah, it, it did just fall out. You'll be sorry, all of you. Just wait until Banjo 3. Same thing as in the first game. Captain Blubber comes across, though not in a wave rider this time, but in the Saucer Peril. <sighs> I got a lot of work to do with these bonus videos I have planned. But here is the complete lack of cre- Wow! I expected more. Well, actually, come to think about it, I'll just show it now. This video, it's the finale. Might as well show it off now. Let's see. Replay. Um, cinema? Let's see, i already seen all this stuff. The character parade. Show off the character parade so you guys can watch it. And this will just go through naming all the creatures, characters, secondary, primary, etc. in the game. Because I don't remember all the names of all of them. Let's see, Golden Goliath. 
bovina. I'm probably just gonna groan at a lot of the horrible puns, but that's besides the point. Slumba. He was annoying to get past, but I had my bad controller at that point, so I guess it's excusable. I'm not even gonna try. Chief Blodizen? Uh, probably not pronounced right, but I don't know how you're supposed to pronounce that. And Target Target Zan. I should not have had to think that long to figure that out. Bunyan Bill. That's I know that's a reference to some Wild West thing, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. And Dilberta. I don't even really find that name funny in any way whatsoever. Hate you. All of my hate. And old King Cole. He wasn't that bad once we kicked his butt. Then again, a lot of people in this game aren't that bad once you kick their butts. And Conga. Seems to have gotten out of the tree and actually found his son a job. Good for you, Congo. I wonder where the other monkey is. I am suddenly not hungry anymore. It's really sad because I have not eaten yet today. Yeah, I've completely lost my appetite. Ugh. And the saucer of peril. You actually didn't give me as many problems as I thought you would. I thought you were going to take a lot more tries than you actually did. Then we have Mr. Patch. With the little thing that you cannot unsee between his legs. Old Jolly Roger. Who really... It's like they took every... Gay stereotype that could have been in this game, and threw them into Jolly Roger's Lagoon, specifically with Jolly. Pano, with his missing leg. Crook, tried to cheat us out of a Jinjo, or not a Jinjo, Jiggy and Tip Tup and Tip Tup Jr. So it was a boy. I still don't know which one I feel sorrier for. Trotty, with his three arms. Continually taking a dump. Dip. Whatever. Choose my words carefully. Captain Black Eye. The seasick pirate. And... Piggles. I still don't know what's actually wrong with you. Captain Blubber. Yeah, now that we actually helped him out and like bought his store from him. Or something like that. Gave him a boon. I don't remember what we did. Alf. I did not know the aliens actually had names. Alf. Betty. I'm gonna guess the last one is like... Something based off Gamma. Gamma. Yep. Uh, what about the kids though? I don't know what the kids are named. Oh, hi there, Crispy Bacon. And your English swimming trunks. And Lord Wa Woo Fock Fock. He was more of annoying as a boss than he needed to be. And Dippy, so happy to have his water. Dippy, though. More like Derby. He just has that look. And the rock nuts. I blew all of you up. You really should have worn armor on your butt. Really should have. Unga bunga. You were just a coward. I mean, you're around dinosaurs all day long, and then you get scared by one. Really? Google boogle. Yeah, we helped them out. We fed them, and we warmed them up. 
And who's next? Scrotty. And I don't remember the names of her children, though I get the feeling they're all just synonyms. Nope. Scrotty, Scrat. Kind of like Scamp almost, but not really. Scrat, Scrit, and Scrit. What's the last one? Scrope? Scrut. Close enough. Had to help all of them out. That was pain in the butt, too. And the Stompadon. So big that we can only see its foot. But that's all it needs to kill you. And then the Chomposaurus and lunch. I'm just gonna wait for him to notice. That is priceless. Just priceless. And there's Terry. I wonder what happened to um, the mother then. Maybe off getting food for him? And Lago. Poor Lago. I feel terribly sorry for him. I mean, there'll be a toilet. And there's Skyvy with his mumbo wallpaper. That's uh, one of the questions in the Tower of Tragedy. And Welder, the nearsighted blowtorch. And again, if you had a flame near your eyes that often too, you'd probably have eye issues. And Boggy, who should really go on a diet. You really should. Why do they jiggle? Why? And there's Groggy. Moving on. <laughs> Soggy. Uh, and I think the last one is Moggy. It would suck to be a girl named Soggy, though. I mean, really, with these names, you can't really even do anything as an adult. Let's see, next is Mildred the Ice Cube, whom we had to kill to get our Jiggy. I regret nothing. Alphet. So what's the next one going to be bait at in... I have no clue. Yeah, beta. B. Uh, I, I'm not even sure how you pronounce that, actually. In gamut. Yeah. I'm not terribly surprised by those names. Alpha, beta, gamma. And there's Gobi. Don't worry, Gobi. We won't bug you at all anymore. We've gotten the last bit of use out of you. More like Big Toe, but alright. You took me way too long to figure out how to get past. And good old Saber Man hiding next to the ice key... ice safe, rather. I'm amazed how quickly I was able to get the ice safe open, though. And Chilly Billy. And on the other tower there will be his... brother, I think it is? Chilly Willy. These guys were obnoxious. Let's see, coming up next we have George the Ice Cube. Now you're deaf. Uh, 50-50, I kinda regret it, kinda don't. Super Stash. A safe who can't remember his own combination. How you forget your own combination is beyond me. Guffo, I did not remember your name for the life of me. Ugh, I didn't like being inside the trash can anyway. And next is Mr. Fit. We'll see a lot, you see a lot more of Mr. Fit in the um, nuts and bolts. He's kind of an extended up to a primary, secondary character. And Minji Jango, with your glitchy programming, who was evil. And of course, Master Jiggy Wiggy. 
I, I still can't take that name seriously. And then the disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. What, does practicing the religion of the Jiggy Wiggy instantly turn your head into a jigsaw piece or something? Should probably mention that in the brochure. Peggy, who helped us hatch a few eggs and teach us how to abuse Kazooie, even though I barely used that move. Honeybee? Woo. Uh, so, okay, who's left? Cheeto. Uh, man, at least we were able to get all of some pages back. I feel bad for him. He helped us out in the first game. And he helped us out in this game. And Dingpot. Who refilled our health and energy. So that we could... Health and energy. Same thing. Our health and ammo. And of course, Jam Jars, who taught us all of our advanced techniques. Even though you'd think grabbing onto a wall and pulling yourself up wouldn't be an advanced technique. And Bottle Suns. Goggles. And what's the other one's name? I don't remember. Specs. Specky. Goggles and Specky. Uh, gotta love the theme naming in this game. I kind of love everything about this game. It kind of gets a little long at times. It's kind of in-depth with how much you have to do, and a few parts are evil, but it's still a great game. And Bottles is still there trying to eat his burnt fish. At least he's persistent. And there's Klungo. Poor Klungo. At least he stops working for Gruntilda after this. He learns his lesson. And of course, King Jingling. That name just... why? That thing has a name? What What the heck is it? Is it like a worm? Okay, there's Humbo Wumba. I will still continue to mix up her first and last names. It's kind of expected. La Belda. La Belda. I have no clue how you're actually supposed to pronounce that. Mingella. At least that one I can understand. Which means next is Gruntilda. The old bony hag herself. How is she standing? She doesn't even have any bones going to her legs, just a rib cage. And there's Mumbo. The best shaman in all of the game. And of course, Banjo. Because how could we possibly forget about Banjo? And Kazooie for that matter, but how could we possibly forget about Banjo and Kazooie? And that's the end of the character parade. Well guys, it's been a fun trip. I got a few bonus videos I need to get put together and taken care of, but you'll see those coming up pretty soon. Not exactly sure what I'm going to move on to for my next game. I got a few ideas, but nothing's concrete yet. So, until next time guys, I'll see you later.